Oh, hello YouTube. Welcome to another edition of Lori's Thrifty Kitchen Pantry. If you are new, welcome. I am so glad to have you here today. If you like what you see, hit that subscription button along with the notification bell so that you know when I put new videos out. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back today. So today's video is just a small Kroger haul. There's some things I had to replace after getting home. My sister brought me out some initial things to hold off uh, and get me on my on my feet. But there was things that I used that I I had to replace because I'd been gone so long. Of uh, excuse my voice, I woke up with some kind of a uh, cough this morning and just a little bit of a sore throat I'm, I'm, I don't feel terrible but I am coughing quite a bit which hurts my spine so I have to be really careful how I cough but anyway I, I did really well on my Kroger haul so let me spin you around and take you into the dining room and I will show you what I got Okay, everyone, here is my small Kroger haul. So I was pretty much out of butter, so I got three of those. I got some milk, which was on sale for $1.99. I got a thing of Folgers coffee. Um, that's just the regular classic roast. That was $9.99. I got two loaves of sunbeam bread. This is the first I've seen sunbeam bread in my area, so I was really happy that they had that. I got a pack of hamburger buns. I got a thing of dishwasher pods. They had the Rotel four cans for $5. One of the cans came dented, so I'm gonna use that, I think, for my dinner tonight. And then I was pretty much out of cheese, so I got some they they were on sale two dollars if you bought i forget how many i'll have to go back and look but i got some sharp cheddar some mexican some parmesan and some mozzarella so this was my haul and that pictured was uh three 12 pack cans of coke zero and three of the um 16 ounce bottles because they were on sale this week my delivery person was nice enough to carry those in and put it by my little drink refrigerator so i wouldn't have to lift them because i am on a weight restriction until probably after june 7th i would imagine but so yeah, this is this is my haul. The stuff back there in the back was not part of the haul. It was just stuff that I couldn't put away earlier because my leg hurt so bad and then I was gone. So I'm just really happy to be home and doing some grocery hauls again. So let me spin you back around and I will share my total and what was taken off of the sale prices all right so as you can see i didn't get a whole lot of things um believe it or not the most expensive things was the dishwasher pods and the coffee so let me go through the list and show you what all i got some so my total for everything before all the coupons started coming off was around 185 so all of the sale prices came off so that brought it down to to 116 then they took another 16 dollars in coupons off uh plus i get free delivery because i uh joined the kroger boost program I did pay 357 in tax, so my total altogether 
was 102.88. So I think that is pretty good considering it was over $180 before all, all the sales stuff came off. So there there was no sale on the dishwasher pods. They were $20.99. There was a sale on my sodas. So the the bottles of soda was uh four four five dollars so at um it brought it down to sixteen dollars for all of those and then the canned sodas was uh on on sale as well so i got three for fourteen dollars i thought that was a really good deal yeah my coffee was 10.99 that was not on sale i messed up on the butter i didn't realize that it was two for four and i only got three had i realized that i would have gotten a fourth one so the butter total was eight dollars and 98 cents because i didn't look at the sale price and the same for the cheese was on sale for two dollars and 33 cents for each one of those the milk was on sale for a dollar 99 the buns were a dollar 99 the rotel was was four for five dollars and i messed up on the bread the bread came to um nine dollars and 58 cents for two loaves i will probably not get that brand of bread again i was just so excited to see sunbeam bread in my area that i didn't really add add the price up for both loaves so so yeah i'll, I'll probably not get that bread again unless they have it on a two for five sale which i doubt that they will very often but other other than than that i think think i did did pretty darn well so uh let's see i have a lot of things going on i have uh lab work in the morning they're coming out to draw a trough level for the vanco which is one of the antibiotics that i'm on so they're coming between 7 and 9. I usually run that between 9 and 10. So they have to come out before I can can actually run my next antibiotic. So I have to be up super early in the morning. I have a nurse coming out to change the dressing on my pick line. Uh, so if my cough is, is any worse, I will, will have her check just just to make sure that it's nothing serious uh, i have a delivery of my iv supplies and the antibiotics coming tomorrow um i am still waiting on a call from occupational therapy so the insurance was going to call them today to see if if they can call and Get the the evaluating therapist out so so that I can get started with that and at least get in the shower because I haven't had a shower in a while I could probably do it myself but if the dressing on my stitches comes up while I'm in the shower I can't do that myself because it's my lower back and I can't see what I'm doing so I would rather have someone here to help me with that just in case i am doing really good running my antibiotics i've i've had a few issues but i was able to get everything straightened out and running uh, my biggest issue is just remembering to clamp and unclamp everything i'm being very careful wiping things continually with alcohol pads keeping things covered and caps on and just being really careful with not getting an infection in my pick line so i've got that working the biggest issue i had today was getting 
the Van Co dripping correctly, and I remembered that I didn't flush the pick line out after running the first antibiotic. So as soon as I did that, everything ran fine. So, so that that was the the issue this morning. So it's, yeah, it's just remembering each of the steps in the right order, and setting the dial in the at the correct number. Um, I do have a couple of unboxing things. It's not really product reviews. Uh, one is a Amazon order that I placed back in March. One of my longtime subscribers sent me a gift card, so I went to show what I got with that gift card. I got some things I had been wanting to try. Uh, things that will make my cooking videos easier to navigate, especially right now. And and some things that I needed. So I'm I'm really excited to to show you what I got with my gift card. I think I got some amazing deals. And the other one I have is um what I got with my insurance allowance from CVS for the for the next three months I think I did pretty well with with that order so I'll, so I'll show show you what I got with with that but yeah that's what's going on I'm just kind of resting and eating and keeping hydrated because I I had a fight at times just to get a glass of ice water at the nursing home so I'm catching up on on my hydration and yeah, you know, just resting and eating and enjoying being home. So that's it for this video. I hope after this week to really start getting back into the cooking video. So I, I'm just kind of taking it easy right now and just having like sandwiches and scrambled eggs and just things that that's that soups and things that's easy to fix so i am still so excited to be home and is sleeping in my own bed so, so i think, think that's really helping me a lot so i will end this here by saying be safe be happy be blessed and i will see you all on the next video. Bye!